Hello all future uh, Lebanon High School Blue Devils. Uh, we normally have all of our uh, rising ninth graders in uh, one night in the spring with their parents to talk to you about uh, what to expect as a high school student and also how to register for classes for next year. And I know you're in the middle of that right now and we are not able to get you into the building. So I'm sending this message out to you to hopefully share some uh, much needed information uh, as you have about another week before course registration is due um, for requesting your classes here at LHS next year. In case you didn't know, I am uh, Scott Walters. I'm the principal at Lebanon High School, uh, and this is just our introduction to uh, high school in the uh, simplest way possible that we could get it to you. So um, I do want you to know about a few resources uh, that you have access to as far as people in the building who can answer your questions. Um, like I told you, I, was, I am the principal. We also have four assistant principals. Uh, their names are Selena Tinsley, Eric Spear, David Sheely, and Barbara Hallams. And they work very closely with the school counselors who you will hear from a lot in uh, choosing classes every year as a student at LHS. Uh, their names are Mr. Denton, Mrs. Alms, uh, Ms. Revis, Ms. Frazier, and Ms. Grant. Uh, we also do a lot of work uh, with Coach um, Chuck Gentry, who's our head football coach and graduation coach. And you're going to communicate a lot with Ms. Uh, Lisa Smith, who is the registrar, who will get all of you enrolled over the summer as an official, official Wilson County or Wilson County and uh, LHS student. Uh, so let me show you uh, what a few typical freshman classes are as you are choosing what you want to be enrolled in next year as a freshman. Uh, also go over the registration process that will happen between now and uh, July and August actually. And then what to expect as a high school student and some upcoming events you can plan for. Our counselors have communicated a lot with your counselor there at your middle school or maybe have even visited you. All of that occurred in December. Uh, so any questions you have about what classes you should sign up for, uh, your counselor in your building actually has the answers to those and that should be your first go-to uh, for, uh, for the questions uh, that you may have about what classes you should sign up for. Typically, ninth graders are going to be, of course, in English 1, Algebra 1, maybe Geometry, uh, Biology or Agri-Science, uh, World History, Lifetime Wellness. You're going to get to choose um, a fine art that can be visual art, theater, band, choir, dance. Um, and then you have a whole program of studies that you can choose from as um, another class that you want to take. And, and your counselor should have communicated with you already all the options available to you. We're actually going to highlight some of those in this video because uh, there's a lot of cool things that you could take advantage of as a high school student and we want you to know what they are so you can start making uh, those choices and making big plans uh, or actually for what it is you want to do when you leave high school. As we talk about all of these things, uh, there may be some terms that are new to you that you have not used in middle school. So we talk about credits a lot. There are, every time you pass a class, you actually earn a credit. Um, and there are a certain number of credits required for graduation. You start earning those in ninth grade. You've got to earn certain ones and a certain number of them before you're allowed to graduate as a 12th grader. So your counselor uses that term credit a lot. Also, um, while your grades in kindergarten through eighth grade are very important, uh, they have not yet been a part of your official record that will go off to whatever employer or college you want to attend uh, when you graduate. That starts your ninth grade year. Those grades are used to calculate what we call a GPA. A GPA is an average um, of, of your total grades. Uh, that is used to kind of show an employer or a college how hard you have been working in high school, how um, smart you are in specific areas, and uh, it's something that's very important for you to know uh, keeps, uh, starts getting tracked the day that you start your freshman year. Also, as you send in your uh, course requests for the 21-22 school year, Please know that those are requests. Uh, we, we cannot grant every single 
um, course to every single student that they ask for. We are limited due to scheduling and personnel and resources, and we always do our best, but it's very important for you to list those alternates on your um, form in Skyward when you make your requests, because they are requests, and if we can't give one to you, we want to be able to choose your first backup. So you've got to list those backups or those alternates as well as your requests. I want to show you a typical schedule. This is what schedules look like for ninth graders, uh, most typically. Uh, if you look, um, you'll see uh, room numbers, teachers' names, class names. Uh, it's very uh, uh, important information for you to navigate your very first day of school on campus. Uh, you can see the classes listed there, uh, what is pretty common on a, a very good student's schedule. Um, and so uh, that is something that you will actually access in Skyward. We are going to make sure that you know how to find this before school starts on August 1st, 2021. Uh, but that's what it looks like, so we want to give you a little idea of what to expect. I know that you've already started registration. Some of you have already submitted your, your course requests in Skyward. Some of you have been working on this with your counselor in your middle school this week. Uh, we want you to continue to work on that. You can still make changes. The deadline has not passed. So make sure you go into Skyward and access, uh, use student access. If you're having any trouble finding the right Skyward, we, we run into these common problems. Uh, make sure you are choosing Wilson County Schools and not Lebanon School Special School District because uh, we are separate uh, from LSSD. So if you have been in Winfrey Bryant or Walter J. Baird Middle Schools, you have to choose the school uh, in Skyward when you're logging in. Also, commonly, we are Wilson County, not Williamson County. Uh, that is a common uh, mistake as well when we try to help people find the right uh, ways to log in to Skyward because they use Skyward as well. If you are coming from a current Wilson County school, then your login is the same. There is nothing you need to do that is different. You log in as you always have, and that's where you uh, request your courses. Uh, but, but please know, if you do have um, questions about your login, even if you are in LSSD, your counselor in your middle school, in your current middle school, even um, in your LSSD school, has your login information and they can give that to you in case you have lost it or are not sure what it is or if it's not working for some reason. Uh, but know that registration for new classes next year is open until February 5th. Uh, that is a week from Friday, uh, so you've got another week to finalize those requests. Okay, so a lot of uh, eighth graders, they're new to high school. They haven't had older siblings come to high school. They've got a lot of questions about what they should sign up for. Uh, ask your current teachers and counselors. Uh, I know they don't work here, uh, but they know you. They know you a lot better than we do. They can help you make the right choice. Uh, and if you get here and there are questions or doubts about some choices, then our counselors are going to work with you the best they can uh, to make any changes that need to be uh, made. Also, we, we do look at a lot of data. We, like I said, your, your choices in Skyward, they're just requests. So we may change those requests based on data we have, based on uh, prior grades and test scores and TVOS projections, uh, based on um, what math class you took in eighth grade, how you did on that math, EOC. Uh, we have a focus period that we've developed uh, for uh, freshmen, and it's a freshman seminar class that is an elective that students may uh, want to take, or we may ask them to take it or, or make them take it if they need uh, more time to study or to work on things uh, with a certified teacher who can help them get caught up in classes that they typically struggle in. We do also have intervention courses here. They are related to RTI and the areas of reading and math. And we use a lot of information from your middle school to determine whether that is a good placement for you. There are a lot of uh, things we hear about registration. I want to clarify. A lot of people think they need to sign up quickly because the people who sign up first get their classes first. And that's just not true. So as long as you sign up uh, by the deadline, February 5th, all students have the same uh, likelihood of getting the schedule they want as any other students and so make sure you just get everything turned in by February 5th. Uh, one thing that is uh, different here uh, in any high school that is kind of something that we that takes families a little bit of time to understand or get used to is we can't offer every class every period every day. Uh, 
there are no two students in this building that actually have the same schedule. Uh, so we don't have groups of students that all go to first period together and then second period together. After that bell rings, everyone in your class is going to a different place. So that makes a schedule very complex. Um, it makes it uh, complicated and, and offering or being able to grant everybody what it is that they want. That is new in high school. That is not something you have probably run into before as an elementary or middle school student. So know that uh, we are, will try our hardest to get you in everything that you want, uh, but it's just not always possible. And we will walk you through all your options when that happens. As you transition to high school from middle school, know that these are kind of the most significant um, struggles or changes that you'll encounter uh, that we want you to be aware of now so you can already be talking about these things in your school and with your family. Uh, when you come to high school, there's just a lot more uh, freedom. This is a much bigger building. Like I said, everybody's going somewhere different every time the bell rings, so you're really responsible for getting yourself to the next place on time. Uh, with that freedom, you have that responsibility. It takes a little while for our freshmen to kind of learn how to self-manage. Uh, so we start talking about that early on and, and, it, and laying out those expectations so that you mature uh, and, and earn that responsibility much faster. Uh, you do get to choose your classes. That is different, I think, than most of you have experienced in your middle school um, uh, careers is there are a lot of choices that you have. Uh, take advantage of those, look at all of your options, and reach out and do things that you're truly interested in. Uh, try to stay away from just doing things because your friends do them or because you think it's easy, uh, and, and what you choose will really guide you towards what you want to do when you actually are leaving uh, high school and doing different things. Uh, you sh your classes will be more challenging. The time frame uh, you're in class, a different amount of time than you're used to. Uh, the expectation is a little bit different. There are things you're going to have to do that maybe you haven't had to do before, like study or um, spend a little more time outside of school working on um, assignments. All of these things, all of these classes that you're going to take and you're going to work on count towards graduation. They count starting in ninth grade. Uh, we ask a lot of students before they graduate what they would uh, have done differently if they could go back and do high school again. And they always mention a couple of things, and one of those is, I wish I understood more how my grades started counting in high school, um, in ninth grade, uh, from the very beginning, and how they are a part of my record, and how they count towards my GPA, and how they are going to affect what I get to do when I graduate from high school. I didn't understand that as a ninth grader, and I wish I did. So we want to try to communicate that early on. So in your freshman year, you're going to have homework. Do your homework. Uh, get involved in extracurricular activities. That is the other thing that uh, seniors always say they wish they had maybe been more aware of or done differently in their high school years is they had gotten involved more, that they had looked for more opportunities to do things besides just come in the building, go to class, and go home. Uh, being a part of something that helps you to enjoy it more, helps you feel more invested, helps you um, make a more memorable experience because your four years here are going to be pretty formative in developing who you're going to be as an adult. Um, stay organized. Learn how to be organized. I hope that is a skill you are already developing as an eighth grader. You've got to start learning to um, advocate for yourself, communicate with your teachers, ask questions. Uh, nowadays, it's uh, send a lot of emails or remind messages, and those are things that we really have to start depending on you to do. Um, high school teachers have you know 150 to 200 students and so communication is important and that it comes from you directly is important. We try to start training you on that instead of it always being from your parent um, or, or, or maybe never even at all. Uh, also as you get older it's important that you still continue to get plenty of sleep and that you're here every day uh, because we can't teach you if you're not here. So as parents, here is what you can do. Please sit down together, look at the classes that your uh, child has the opportunity to take, help them make choices together, look at all of the options, make good um, choices for your alternates, 
uh, but be a part of that conversation, parents. Uh, it is um, helpful with their own buy-in if you are a part of the process. So please be intentional about that. And uh, I know this feels far off, but it'll be here before you know it. Uh, when July gets here, every student will have to complete their official online registration as a Wilson County student, as 11 and high school student, and you'll have to provide proofs of residency. Uh, make sure you live in our school zone. So just be um, aware that that information will come to you. And when it does, it will come to you. So even if you're part of LSSD right now, by the time this information is sent out, all of your contact information will be shared with us and we'll be able to get it to you as well. Uh, there are different ways for you to stay uh, in the loop with us, be in the know. You can follow different accounts on Twitter. Uh, that are myself, which is probably the best one. Uh, there's also a Lebanon High School Twitter account. Uh, the counseling office has their own. Uh, the LHS Loyals is our parent uh, volunteer group. And then the remind information you're seeing is directly linked to our counselor's office. Registration is due February 5th. Uh, we typically invite all our eighth graders into the building during the school year, give them a tour and have a, have a conversation with them in person. We will not be able to do that this year, but we do still plan to have an in-person orientation uh, in July, right before school starts, where we will let you tour the building and get a copy of your schedule. Also, as you have questions, um, please email counselors in the building if you feel like you need to. If you cannot get an answer uh, that you really need from your eighth grade counselor, then here are email addresses for our counselors uh, in the building here at LHS, so please use those. For those of you who want to know a little bit more about some of the specific uh, opportunities, electives that freshmen can take advantage of, we do have a few uh, like 30 second highlights of different programs here uh, in the building that your child can take advantage of and that they are available to you uh, when you sign up for classes in Skyward. Uh, thank you so much. Have a good rest of your semester. We look forward to seeing you in person as soon as we can and uh, I'll see you soon. I am Ms. Nicholas and I am the teacher for the Blue Devil News Broadcasting Program and we would like to welcome you to Lebanon High School. For the first time since the program began, freshmen are allowed to take Blue Devil News. find us online under the Career Tech Course Catalog section. Some of the things that we do here at Blue Devil News, we obviously do the student news. And we also have a sports broadcasting team that is growing and it, with equipment and people. We have more than one camera angle now. We can switch to various things. And we have live commentary. So if you're interested in sports broadcasting, definitely sign up for this. Again, welcome to Lebanon High School and we look forward to seeing you in class. Um, criminal justice is one of the elective focuses you can have at Lebanon High School. Um, you'll start with Criminal Justice 1, which includes things like the Cops, Courts, and Corrections is the um, umbrella of the class, so you'll learn about um, like what police officers would do, how the court system works, um, how the jail system works. We'll also talk about the Constitution and state laws, the basis of like where the criminal justice standards are coming from, and you'll also get to participate in a mock trial program and each one of these students got individual projects that they're building. Uh, for example, the here is making a night stand. Each one of these stands is down and get ready to put a bench on. Lay over here, she's making a little with this letter K. Children decay. In a desk with a drawer, he's working on the drawer face. And then uh, Blake over here, he's making a, a chair with a seat cover on it, and he can use it for many different things. So, and they're all making individual projects. Hey everyone, I'm Mr. Shrum here over at Lebanon High School. I'm the AP Human Geography teacher. Um, AP Human Geography is a great class. It should be your introduction to advanced placement courses at a high school level. Um, it is a class that if you take and pass the AP exam at the end of the year, uh, you could receive college credit. 
Um, the course is really great. Uh, it is rigorous, but um, we do cover a lot of stuff, a lot of fun stuff. We look at a lot of maps, a lot of case studies, and essentially we cover human geography over time, so the patterns of human development over time. It's a great class, and I hope you consider signing up for it. Good afternoon. My name is Major Marlowe, and I am the senior instructor at Lebanon High School for the Air Force Junior ROTC program. I would like to take the next couple of moments and talk to you about joining Junior ROTC. Junior ROTC is a leadership citizenship course that prepares you with the much needed life skills for after graduation. Using military traditions and techniques to perfect these skills that you will use in the future. With that being said, I like to always remind everybody that there is no military obligation for joining Junior ROTC. This was my first year at Lebanon High School, but my ninth year of teaching Junior ROTC. And the one thing that students tell me every year is that they always felt like Junior ROTC was a second family and a place they could call home. We are heavily involved with community service to include presenting the American flag at the football basketball games for the national anthem. Some of the activities that we have done in the past throughout the year are physical fitness competitions, uh, obstacle courses, Tough Mudders, etc. A marksmanship team that has competed all the way at the national level and a coach of the 2019 Air Force National Champion. Drill team, marching competitions, and the Air Force Academic Bowl Challenge. Other programs that we would like to start in the future, uh, in the next year or two with the right student interest, the rocketry program, the unmanned aerial vehicle UAV program, Cyber Patriot Network Defense Competitions, and a robotics team. If any of this is of interest to you, we would love to have you join Junior ROTC and become a part of our family. Well, Mr. Davis, I'm the auto teacher here at Lebanon High School. Uh, I teach auto mechanics, of course. My students actually get to work on, on vehicles. I teach four different classes. Uh, MLR1 is our basic class. You learn about uh, safety tools, uh, how to change a tire, how to remove a tire from a rim. My second class, MLR2, is electrical. We learn about starters, alternators, wiring diagrams, lighting on a vehicle. My third class, MLR3, is brakes, steering, and suspension. I teach you everything about that. And my fourth class is MLR4. It's air conditioning, engine performance, automatic and manual transmissions, drive axles, CV joints, U joints, everything like that. I think my class is beneficial to everyone because everyone is going to be driving. You need to know how your vehicle runs. And whether or not you're going to be a mechanic or not, you will know what that mechanic is doing to your vehicle. Hi, my name is Chloe Moles. I am a senior at Lebanon High School. I love Common Arts the most out of all of the electives, mostly because the teamwork and friendships that can be built there are amazing and it's a lifetime opportunity. Common Arts also teach you how to cook with limited tools, limited ingredients, and how to make them into greater and bigger things that are healthy but also very nutritious for you. Culinary is really good to learn at a young age in high school because once you graduate high school and whether you go to college and get a roommate or live in an apartment by yourself, you need to learn those tools. That way you can complete the things necessary for living on your own. And it's a very important thing.